morning everyone Angela here with allocate designs and I am back today to share a couple of projects with you uh, this first one here is a custom order and it is my first time making a hardcover book like this now let me preface and say that I am hugely inspired by Nick the booksmith and um, she just recently set out a course, Adventures in Booksmithing, and she, she teaches you how to make her style of covers and journals. I would love to take that course, but I don't have that kind of money right now. So I played around and experimented and kind of came up with my own way to make a fabric covered hard covered book um, and it is hand painted and distressed and worn and vintage so this is a custom order and she wanted pink and shabby chic um, she said I could use black and gold accents in it as well which I only did a tiny bit um, but she wanted different colors of pink and lace and so this is what I came up with. Um, <clears throat> it is all hand painted, like I said. Uh, it's a hard cover. And I do have um, lace on the spine there. And then it is just a tie closure with the ribbons. Um, sorry if my camera is too close. It's the only way I could get it set up this morning. It's it's early and I'm still struggling and I'm still drinking my coffee. So <laughs> this was the the best functionality I could get out of my setup and technology this morning. So all right. So when you open it, it has this beautiful paper. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite papers from my mind's eye. And then I have a mix of papers in here, a mix of digitals, um, ephemeris vintage gardens, tsunami rose, nectars, creations. I think that might be it. I'll mention it if I come across any others. So everything is coffee dyed. Um... I did lots of different tags from different, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm sorry, I'm saying um so much, like I said, I'm still waking up, from different paper stacks. This one is from the DCWV, oh, it was like Tea Party or something like that a few years ago. Michael's had it as one of their hot, hot buys, and I bought two packs of it because it's so pretty. Uh, this is a little bit of Cameo Shop, which apparently is no longer on Etsy. Can't find it. That's a little sad. Nectar's Creations, I believe, right? This is from the Letters to Rose digital kit. I had cut the pages because it's a, you know, he printed out as a double spread and I cut it out as just kind of like large journaling tags or photo mats that she can use however she wants to use. I have started making these adorable little dangle paper clips. I don't know what else to call them. They're the cute little dangle charms attached to your paper clips. So dangle clips <laughs> just doesn't sound good. <laughs> Anyways, I, I don't know who first started these. I want to say I've seen them on a lot of ladies' journals lately, and I want to say maybe it was um, Jibid, maybe. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But whoever came up with these, thank you. <laughs> and if you know, you can put it in the comments below. Ephemeris Vintage Garden. And there's just lots of my normal tea dyed, coffee dyed pages. Um, Ephemeris Vintage Garden. There's also fabric 
topped paper clips and this one's really pretty blush with uh, gold flakes in it. Some chiffon ruffle and I did one of Nick's Frankenstein, she calls them Frankenstein pages, where she takes her offcuts and sews them together and creates another page. So I use mine to make a couple of envelopes for the, the center of the signatures of this journal. Here's more of that really pretty blush fabric with the gold flakes in it. Pause while I take a sip. Caffeinate. Another pocket. This is from one of the new stacks from Hobby Lobby called Pretty Petals. I love this paper stack. I will probably buy like two or three more just to keep as a hoard. <laughs> Even though I work at Hobby Lobby and I can get it at any time, it doesn't matter. <laughs> when it comes to paper, there's an illness there or something. Uh, Femmer's Vintage Garden and Tsunami Rose. I made some tags out of those. And this is just a gold safety pin with a little pearl dangle attached to it. I don't know why, but now the word dangle is starting to sound so dirty to me. <laughs> uh, some more tags and a little journaling card from Cameo Shop. I did some coffee dyed pink copy paper in here as well. A little fold out and a large pocket here. Some really pretty fabric. I love this fabric. So it's fabric we had at Hobby Lobby. It was part of the spring <coughs> section and it has like it was all pastel colors and then it has a shimmery floral motif on it so we had it in ivory pink mint blue I think that might have been the four colors I have all four colors I kind of stocked up on that that stuff especially when it went on uh, clearance at the end of the season uh, so this is uh, Tsunami Rose. I just fussy cut and made it a little tuck spot here with some journaling tidbits behind it. One of my large flower clips there. And uh, this is glassine bag, but not really a glassine bag. It's uh, the, the deli paper that I have coffee dyed and then sewn together and glued together and created a little a little bag here and I have it sewn along the page so you can flip it out you can still journal behind it and then it just has a little journaling card inside with some petals and a button I used Ooh, excuse me quite a bit of lace in this journal and some of it is vintage that I've gotten from antique stores uh, this pinky kind of coral color was a vintage one as well as this one here although I can't really say how vintage this one is because um, you know in antique stores and vendors they they say it's an antique and it's vintage but you don't when it comes to lace I mean there's some that you can obviously tell is is vintage and old um, and then there's some that is not like let me give you an example here so this is a bag of miscellaneous vintage lace. Looking at that, you can see the age and the patina, and it is 
vintage. And that was three dollars. And then you get the vendors that have lace like this. And you look at this, you're like, that's not really vintage. It's beautiful lace, and I'm totally gonna buy it and use it, but that's not really vintage. Anyhow, I digress. <laughs> Moving on. More tags and journaling. And I put large envelope in the center. Um, <laughs> the, the reasoning kind of for that is <laughs> when, when I was measuring out my holes for sewing in my signatures, uh, for some reason in my head, I was like, I have five signatures. And so I measured it out. And I was like, wait a second, I only have four signatures. And so I actually had a, f a few extra pieces of paper that I had coffee dyed and kind of intended to use in this journal and didn't. Uh, so I was like, well, I'll just make an envelope and put it in the center. And there we go. Um, continuing on and sorry again with the ums I've had a few people comment on that and you know all I can say is I'm not a professional and I try I I just want to share my work with with anyone who wants to look really so if if you if my voice or the way I talk bothers you then you can turn me off you don't have to watch me so yes anyways again Moving on, digressing, and flipping pages. <laughs> this is a nice big envelope from Tsunami Rose, and it has matching journaling cards inside. And I'm going to say it, it's another dangle. <laughs> and another Frankenstein envelope. Another large flowery clip there. So a lot of elements in this journal are removable or movable. She can move them around. She can use them how she wants or doesn't want. Um, this is some more pretty. It's a very, very pale pink lace. And again, this is another example of that. I buy it from an antique store and they label it as vintage, but it's, I don't think it's really vintage, but it doesn't matter to me because pretty lace is pretty lace and I'm going to use it one way or another. <laughs> uh, some more lace down here and some pom-pom trim. This lace again is vintage and I think this one is legit, legitimately more vintage. <laughs> The pom-pom trim just comes from Hobby Lobby. No big deal. <laughs> Some more chiffon ruffles and another safety pin with a pearl. Oh, hold on one second. I hope I'm still, yep, I'm still recording. Okay, good. I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode when I started recording and I was getting a text message and I didn't know if it interrupted my video or not. So we'll see. You didn't hear it because my phone, I have it always on silent. My husband yells at me. He's like, what's the point of having a phone if it's always on silent? Another one of my pseudo homemade glassine bags, another large pocket, uh, some more tsunami rose. I've Fussy cut and made a little tuck spot. And we're coming upon the back here, folks. Some more fun frou frou lace. And a pocket. And that is the back. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out for my first go at. A cover like this I'm doing a few more which you'll probably see them today because I have three or four journals that I finished that I need to video three of them will be going up on Etsy 
this one is already spoken for. So thank you guys for bearing with me. Have a great day. Bye.